Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? This is your boy Leo coming at you with another video. This is gonna be video number four from the series. This is gonna be and cover uh, fundamentals of information security, D430, uh, Bachelor's of Cybersecurity and Information Assurance. Um, so kind of gonna give you a little bit of information on what to expect with this course and kind of, um, you know, what happened to me in this course and my suggestions and tips. Uh, in this course, you're going to begin your course by discussing your course plan and tool report with your instructor and creating your personalized course plan together. You won't have to do that. You can kind of do that on your own if you like, but if you want to reach out to your instructor, you can. Uh, the learner identifies security principles, policies, practices, and methods for asset protection and cyber defense. The learner identifies security requirements based on principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So those are going to be things that you're going to learn in this course. And, you know, make sure that you keep this information because further future courses are going to come off these topics. Um, the learner identifies cybersecurity guidelines and privacy and compliance. So this course took me about two weeks to finish. Um, I was doing it through the Thanksgiving week and I actually got sick and, you know, kind of delayed my studying and kind of threw me off. Um, I'll let you guys know kind of how that went, but, um, you know, again, this is a course that you're going to want to kind of learn, a, you know, a way to study. You want to learn the best way to study for yourself to, you know, make sure that you gain the information. Um, my method has been watching the videos and then going into the course material and then doing the you know the material up to the point that i learned going back watching the videos then coming back completing the course material you know back and forth uh, re-watching the videos making sure i'm taking notes so anything that you know i may not know i may take notes on or i might create my own study guide with some of the best you know parts of the quiz um use reddit use google as a you know resource uh you might be able to find some study guides for wgu and things to expect on the oa um again the pre-assessment and the oa were completely different so nothing from the pre-assessment really you know none of the questions were really asked in the oa they were kind of different uh, you may have questions that are very similar but they're going to have certain words in there that are going to be a little off to kind of throw you off so again my tip when you do take the EOA is to make sure you read the entire question, read the answers or read the answers first, read the question, because a lot of the times you're going to be able to eliminate, you know, two, three of the answers right off the bat. So that should give you, you know, a hand in making sure that you're picking the right answer, um, not second guessing yourself and stuff like that. Or, you know, reading the question, seeing like the first answer that makes sense and just choosing that one. Just make sure that you're going through and you know looking at everything because you know like it may throw you off so that's what it did to me so i'm just trying to you know give you guys that little information nugget because it will help you um so if you go into this course material a lot of these um information in this course is going to be related to security the foundations of it so you're also going to have some labs to do so we'll give you some hands-on experience on how to create an AD account, how to partition, you know, um, a drive and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's pretty, pretty good knowledge to have if you don't know it. And if you do know it, it's good to maybe see it a different way done, um, you know, so you have different examples on how to do it. So, you know, I have a little bit of experience. Well, I have a lot of experience creating accounts and stuff like that. So I still went through the lab you know and, did, and just did it just because you know i just why not um but you don't have to do the labs if you already you know you already know how to do this stuff but again i i think it's i think it's helpful so originally you're gonna you know learn the concepts of identification and authorization you're gonna be learning about auditing uh cryptography and legal issues so just laws terms and stuff like that you know what they are um you're going to learn about encryption and different kinds of encryption and cryptography just to protect you know data and different data in motion you know data at rest and stuff like that just to 
kind of be able to, um, you know, see and know which one it is and which one is, you know, decrypted, which is safer and stuff like that. So this is going to show you a lot of that information. Uh, it's also going to show you physical and network security. You know, it's just the fundamentals along with operating system and application security. Um, it's going to give you some of the tools that hackers and, um, you know, other people use to, you know, search the network and just, you know, prevent hacks or, you know, just threats or vulnerabilities. So this is going to give you the fundamental stuff just to kind of, you know, so you hear these terms for the future. Um, difficultness on this one for me personally, you know, since I went through the sickness thing and, you know, all the stuff for me, it was a little difficult to pass this one. It took me, you know, two attempts. I'm not going to lie. I failed. So th we'll get to that. But um, if I had to give this one a, you know, a rating, I'd probably give it a, you know, one being, you know, probably the easiest and 10 being the hardest. Um, I'd probably give it a five to six, um, more towards a six, maybe five, five and a half. Um, just because, you know, I, I had those problems and I had to go in and kind of re relearn everything and everything that I was learning and watching because I was sick. I wasn't able to keep, so I had to go back in. Uh, originally, I passed the pre-assessment on my first go, so I thought I was ready, so I scheduled my OA. Um, during my OA, I had a, about a 20-minute, you know, from beginning this, you know, to actually starting the OA because I was dealing with the person that was administrating the OA, and they wanted me to do a few things that I've never had to do in the past one, so um, it took a little longer for some reason, and I also had, she, I think she thought I was, I had tabs open and she was trying to close them when they were just my favorites and she was deleting my favorites. So that kind of sucked. That kind of pissed me off. Um, but 20 minutes in, I was finally able to start. And originally right off the bat, I was very confident. I thought, you know, every single question that I saw, I was flying through it. And then at the end, I came back and looked and it looked like it actually, you know, I, I, I think I got a, 60 and i think you need 66 percent and up so that that was failing my first oa was kind of a letdown to myself i felt bad it, it was you know a little frustrating that night was difficult for me you know i was still kind of dealing with the sickness and you know just in a in a bad you know situation so it was just it kind of put me in a worse situation so i wasn't believing myself you know i was just kind of like man what the hell man like how do I get myself to this position? You know, I thought I was ready. So once again, I had to go back and hit those concepts even harder. So, you know, I went in, I found my own way to kind of study things. I made sure I was writing things down. I uh, created my own study guide. I found one online too. That kind of, you know, I followed the steps on and kind of just regurgitated all the information all over again. And just, you know, like I said, I went over it twice just twice three times so i kind of went through the information three times just to make sure that i was you know confident because i didn't want to fail the second time and then once you get into the taking the third for the third time on this class i think they're going to charge you 60 dollars um and it becomes kind of a pain also because your mentor and your instructor are going to start getting on you at this point they're not going to you know kind of be relaxed on you they're going to be pushing for you to be able to make sure that you're following the correct paths um to pass the class they want you to pass so you know like like i said my situation was was this i failed it i was down on myself i had my meeting with my mentor like two days later three days later um you know she they were pushing more more study on me which i already knew and i already started you know that monday after i took the test on sunday i instantly got you know on it again and i you know i started studying and i wanted to make sure that by the following sunday i was able to not delay myself and go ahead and take the you know the oa again but i wasn't going to rush or nothing like that um so i went ahead and did that and i studied my butt off all week you know made sure that you know just went through all the all the concepts again i went for all the videos to make sure that i was holding on to the knowledge and then i had um i had to actually have 
the second assessment approved by the instructor. So I reached out to have an approved, I had to have a meeting. So I went ahead and had my meeting with my instructor. You know, it was maybe like two minute meeting and you know, it, it, they went ahead and just, you know, approved me to retake the test. I set up the test, I took it that Sunday. I sat through it, it was, you know, same thing I went through the last time. Sat down, I was confident. The questions started coming and I, you know, I was answering them, but again, I took my tips from the beginning of the video, you know, just take my time, read the answers, don't rush through it, give myself the hour, hour and a half, whatever it is that I need to go ahead and take my time. So after taking my time, everything, I didn't even look at it. I kind of went and did my things throughout the night and I came back and looked at it and I saw that I passed. And well, seeing that I passed, that was a great feeling. You know, that was definitely a greater feeling than failing. So, so the lows from failing, you know, were over, were definitely overcompensated with passing. So the, the feeling of passing was great, a greater feeling than, you know, the failure. So it definitely lifted me up and it made me feel all those feelings that I had when I failed it went out the window. And I was like, you know what, I got this because I knew that it was just a studying issue. I didn't study, I didn't, you know, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't ready for it. But once I passed it, again, I was, you know, my head held high. I was, you know, very motivated. I was ready to start my next class and I went ahead and dove right into it. So again, if you do happen to fail, you know, don't, don't put yourself down. It just means you're not ready. And again, a, a lot of the information that I had to go over, you know, now that I look back at it, it's, uh, you know, it informed me even better. So I wasn't ready. So don't schedule your OA if you're not ready. Just give yourself the time. You know, I know that at some point, you know, you're trying to fast track a lot of this stuff, but don't fast track it too much to the point that you're not gaining the knowledge and you're barely passing and stuff like that because these topics are going to come up again. Um, so those are my, that was my situation. You know, I failed it. I got my first, you know, whiff. I failed in the class, seeing what, you know, in OA, seeing what happens after you fail it. Again, if you fail it, you have to pay $60. And then after that, it, you know, I, I even read that they could kick you out of the program or, you know, you can have those kind of situations happen, which I definitely don't want to get in that situation. So, um, you know, again, you know, take your time, you know, make sure you get in the information, make sure that you're going through everything, make sure that you take some quiz, some practice quizzes, um, take the pre-assessment like three, four five times, you know, just to make sure that you're, you know, fully passing it. Again, the questions are the same. So you're gonna start remembering some of these questions, but at the same time, you're also gonna remember the knowledge. So, you know, it's gonna help in some in some, in some capacity. Uh, even though I passed the assessment three times with almost perfect scores, you know, once I finally got to studying and everything, the OA, I, I barely passed it. You know, I passed it, but it wasn't by much back in this class. So, you know, just take it all with a grain of salt. You're going to have the same, you know, same or different experience that I'm having, depending on your knowledge. This is a good fundamental course that is going to give you a lot of the, you know, the bottom, the, the foundation parts of your knowledge. Even though I do an IT job, a lot of these things I've never heard of. So it was nice filling in, you know, those cracks. Um, so again, you know, like these is just, this is just information. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything you're running into, that you want to shoot a message down and just you know get some more information get you know my um you know my thoughts my you know any information that i can help you with any tips um feel, feel free to re you know reach out leave a comment send a message whatever it is uh, i respond to everything so you know feel free to to reach out uh if these videos help you and you're you know excited about joining wgu whatever and you're watching these these are helping I'm going to continue these as I pass through the through the courses. I'm filming this, um, you know, a few days after I passed my second class, my yeah, second class, and now I'm on the third class. So, um, you know, so far in one month, I've done three classes. So pretty happy. I hope to finish the four classes by the end of December and start grabbing more classes to, uh, you know, for the following three months to continue to, you know, um, to continue to fast track my my degree and this is just 
you know, just more information to give you guys along with all the, uh, all the other information that you're already re researching to just make you feel more comfortable and, and um, let you know that there's other people out there normal also doing this. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get this done in six months. I'm trying to just get it done. You know what I mean? But I'm not trying to take two years or a year and a half to do it. So, you know, that's my, that's my goal. But again, if you guys enjoy these videos, like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.